In this video I will show you guys what happens to the volume of the air when you swim up and down in the water. To illustrate this I will use this plastic bag which represents your lungs. So you can see at the surface I'm inflating the plastic bag so it's completely full of air and then I'm sealing it at the bottom. Now when I swim down to the bottom of the pool you can see that the air is getting compressed and the plastic bag gets soft again. And when I go back up to the surface you can see the air expands again and then you can see it's completely full of air. This is actually exactly what happens when you're free diving because you have a constant volume of air inside your lungs when you dive. That is because you breathe in at the surface and then you hold your breath while you swim down and come back up to the surface. So it's the same amount of air throughout the whole dive. But when you're scuba diving, you are bringing with you an external air source down to the depth. That means if you breathe in at 10 meters and then hold your breath all the way up to the surface, that air that was five liters at the bottom will now be 10 liters of volume at the surface. But since your lungs can only expand so much, what will happen is you will rupture your lung. Your lungs won't explode like you saw in this first picture, uh, but it, they will rupture and it, the air will start leaking into your uh, chest outside of your lungs. You can see this with this plastic bag made for making ice cubes. You can see that I start at the bottom and when I get about halfway up to the surface it has ruptured because of the expanding air. And you see the air leaking out. You can't die from this. So it's really important that you breathe out through the whole dive when you're swimming up. If you're staying on the same level in the water then it's not a problem because you can stay at 10 meters you can take a deep breath with a scuba diving tank and then hold your breath for a minute it's not dangerous in that way same if you're swimming down it's not recommended but it won't cause your lungs to rupture but when you swim up then you get in trouble if you hold your breath i hope you learned something from this video and uh, if you are planning to go scuba diving or diving uh, in any way please uh, take a certification or a course to make sure that it's 100% safe what you're doing. There's a lot of things you don't know about diving if you haven't taken a course. So if you like this video, just subscribe to this account, hit the little bell and you will get a notification next time we upload a video about diving or scuba diving, free diving, swimming or whatever. Have a nice day!